everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I make videos on career, education, and lifestyle. So today's video is going to be all about skills that you need to succeed as a data analyst. I'll be going over both soft skills and hard skills because both are equally important and will help you along in your journey. So thank you for being here. I would appreciate it if you took a second to hit that subscribe button. The channel has been growing and I would love for you to be a part of it. I think I'm going to talk about soft skills first because everyone always stresses the hard and technical skills that you need to learn, but I really think that soft skills are just as valuable, if not more at times, when it comes to your success as a data analyst. The first soft skill that you need is attention to detail. The attention to detail part really comes into play because there's a large troves of data that data analysts work with and you need to really be able to find a needle in a haystack and find some meaning in large amounts of data. So that will require you to be really perceptive and attentive to the various trends that might be hiding within large amounts of data. I cannot stress this enough, frankly. It's extremely important to be really attentive to all of the data that you're looking at or any reports that you might create. I know that I'm not the only one, but it's important to be able to dig deeper and deeper and deeper and make sure that you fix any issues or catch trends that you didn't the first time. Especially this is really important in consulting as well because your client might look at what you send hundreds of times, they might pass it around. So anything that you miss, they will 100% catch. So you need to be extremely detailed when you put together absolutely anything. And it also goes when you're in industry as well because any reports that you create will turn many hands. Second soft skill that you really need to know is communication skills. So honestly, it doesn't matter if you're the world's best analyst, if you're not able to communicate why people should listen <laughs> to your analysis and why it matters and what the impact that you will create with your work. There are lots of amazing reports that people have created in different companies that have the potential to change the direction of the company but no one has seen them. They haven't been brought to the light of day. Likely the impact of that report has not been communicated and it's not been heard by the right people. And so there's no buy-in. So you need to really be able to craft a story with your analysis to get people listening. Another component to this is being able to communicate technical things very simply to a business audience. You don't want to bore your audience with really intricate details of how your analysis works technically because it's not very important that they know that. What they really need to know is what this analysis is telling them and what the actual next steps are. So you need to be able to present your analysis in a way that's easily digestible to a variety of different audiences. All right, the third soft skill that you need to know is problem solving. I cannot tell you the number of times that my code has not run or some macro crash or some something went wrong, essentially. <laughs> I've had to spend many hours trying to debug whatever has gone wrong. And things always go wrong, you know, Maslow's hierarchy. Actually, it's not Maslow's hierarchy. What's the principle that says everything that can go wrong will go wrong? I'm talking about Murphy's Law. So really, honestly, everything that can go wrong will go wrong, typically. So you need to have effective problem solving skills and being able to find a solution quickly. And one of the things that I've learned through my years and years of working experience, aka two years, uh, <laughs> is that you would need to ask people when you can't figure it out after an hour of trying, basically. If there's something that you're really stuck on and you don't know how to solve it, you've already spent a lot of time looking it up on GitHub or whatever it is, ask people 
and see if they faced a similar problem because likely they have. So don't spend hours of your time trying to solve things that other people have already figured out, especially if you're a consultant because you're wasting precious client billable hours uh, in solving issues when you can get the answer quick. All right, now that we have talked about soft skills, let's move on to technical slash hard skills. The first hard skill that I'll talk about is SQL, also known as structured query language. SQL is essentially a standard language that is used to communicate with databases. You can query data, extract data, organize, there's a lot that you can do. So this is really the bread and butter of a data analyst skill set. It's extremely critical to know SQL, especially since it's asked for in most job applications, honestly. Uh, it's been around since the 1970s. It's been around for a long time, but it's still one of the most widely used languages, especially for data analysts. Honestly, almost every analyst will need to use SQL to extract data from a company's database. So essentially, you <laughs> really need to know SQL. It's the bread and butter of a data analyst skill set. Don't be scared though. It's one of the more easier languages to learn. And the more you do it, the more you learn, honestly. It's not too, too hard to pick up and then you can build on your knowledge over time. All right, the second hard skill that you need to know is some sort of programming language. You need to know some sort of programming language to be able to manipulate the data that you got using Excel. So knowing a language like Python or R is extremely useful. R is more used for statistical analysis, but also very widely used. I know Python is extremely popular in industry. There's a lot of libraries that you can use that will aid you in data analysis in general. So in addition to SQL, knowing some Python or R, I know some industries use SAS, especially in healthcare, knowing it just a general programming language will really be useful to add to your skill set. I use SAS in my work now, and I also use uh, some R here and there. So I can tell you firsthand <laughs> that knowing a programming language is really important. I learned R in my master's program, and then my current job uses more SAS, but honestly, it's very transferable. Uh, once you just learn the logic of a programming language, you can kind of transfer it. Uh, to other programming languages as well. All right, the third hard skill that you need to know is data visualization, such as Power BI or Tableau. I used Power BI in my previous job. I use Tableau now. I learned Tableau in school as well. Uh, it's really important to be able to know some sort of data visualization tool that will help you visualize some of the analysis that you might have done using some sort of programming language. Or even just to be able to do some exploratory analysis and dig into the data quickly. Uh, I cannot tell you the number of times that Tableau has really saved me, especially when clients ask questions on this spot. I can quickly grab variables and check what's happening with the data. So so it's been extremely useful for me in understanding data kind of quickly and efficiently without having to always plug it into a programming language or getting into the analysis. I know there's tons of tools out there uh, that kind of focus on data visualization and having one or two under your toolkit will really help you be able to visualize. It goes back to that communication piece that I talked about earlier. People love seeing data visualized. It really brings it to life. So being able to do that is an extremely important skill for data analysts to master. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that it was helpful in your journey to become a data analyst and gives you some skills to be mindful of and curate as you go through your journey. If this is helpful to you at all, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it and would love for you to join the family. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.